Man, they are doing a great job with these episodes. Power Book 4, Season 2, Episode 3 did not let me down at all. It's continuing to get better and better, man. Now, we got to start with Jannard, bruh. This dude is spiraling out of control. I definitely do not see him making it out of this season. Because not only did he just knock off Little K without a plan at all. Just strangled him in the car. <laughs> no plan in place, nothing. He throws him in the garbage and he's driving around <laughs> in the car that he took. Then, where does he go? He don't go to try to get another car. After he get his car took too. That was just like... Dog, they treat you like a little boy right now. He get his car took by the Serbs. But then he goes to cop some heroin. I said, oh, <laughs> no, no way. At first, I thought he was going to ask for some crack. I'm like, I know they ain't about to have this dude ask for no crack. <laughs> like, yo, they wild if they have him be like, yo, let me get some work. But no, nah, he asked for some heroin. And he getting high. So he's spiraling out of control. And this is the uh, movements of somebody that's about to pass. Like when all this stuff start happening, people start treating you like a little boy. You lost your respect. You don't even have respect in your crew. All signs lead to you either getting knocked off or going to jail. And I'm so happy they showed him. Get high and then knock off Lil' K. Because it, it it really demonstrates what goes on, man. See, a lot of this crazy stuff that be happening, be happening because these dudes running around the hood, high, trying to make decisions. You cannot do that, man. Like, you will never make the right decision, especially if you high off coke or heroin like him. You ain't going to be making no good decisions, man. And that's the problem with Jannard, man. He getting high. He a horrible leader. And hopefully he either go to jail or get knocked off. But most likely, based on the preview, now that I'm thinking about it, Jannard going to start snitching. Because the preview, and we going to touch on it when I do my prediction and preview, but I can see Jannard start snitching. Tommy is asking, yo, who's snitching? And he pulls the, the burner up on Diamond on the preview. But I bet you, Jannard starts snitching. And then he brought up snitching to Little K when he knocked him off. Right before he did, he started checking him for a while. And I got to say this too. Man, his grandma is off the chain. A dude, Lil K. His grandma off the chain. She acting like this little demon... Ain't in the streets terrorizing people. He ain't just knock off a little girl. Like, that's that's a big problem, too. If you know your little cousin, your little nephew, your um niece in some situations, but most, most of the time, it ain't the, the chicks. It's the little dudes. Let's just be real. If you know your little cousin, your grandson, your son, whoever it is, if he out here wilding, you can't be just trying to protect him no matter what. No, no, no. He is out here wilding. He just knocked off a little girl. Like, uh, what are you talking about? She trying to save him at every turn. With Bobby, with the detective, she trying to save him. With with uh, Jannard, she trying to save It's like, yo, your little demon grandson needs to get what's coming to him. And I'm happy he did get knocked off. I just hate Jannard ain't thinking at all. Now, it was so much this episode to touch on. I probably gonna break it all down a small video so I don't just have y'all here for 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna run through some stuff, but I'm probably gonna make other videos. So, make sure you subscribe. Come back. I'm gonna have some other videos throughout the week. But, man, I love that Tommy and Diamond are continuous to talk throughout everything even though they disagree every time they talk diamond is like slow up tommy is like speed up they keep disagreeing but they keep talking and i like the communication
and they slowly gaining more and more. Even though Miguel turned them away at the end, that's probably something on his end, right? So they asking for more and more work. He probably can't get it to him because, you know, he did meet his boss and his boss seemed like he's somebody that's not for play. So he probably got to talk to him first before he could make any type of moves like that because they keep asking for more and more product. And I hope he don't get on to them in the future about them stealing this product. That's going to be big, big problems for them, especially if he tell his boss. But Diamond Chick is really putting in work for him. The little uh, CO chick, Kendra, she she really holding them down. And she got Rojas to start messing with them too. So that was dope. Almost as dope as Tommy figuring out Claudia was the one that took out Liliana. Oh, man. He was doing a great job reading people. He meet up with Walter. The meetup, not because he thinking, oh, yeah, Walter going to get a person up, but he's just trying to read them. And he read them like they was playing poker. I mean, straight up and down. He like, oh, no, it's Claudia. And when he told Diamond that it was Claudia, I'm like, dang, he really, <laughs> he really put two and two together well. And then when he stepped to Claudia, she basically confirmed it how she was acting before she said it wasn't her. It, like the way she was acting is like she confirmed it. And they were so close. I thought Tommy was going to like kiss on the forehead before he left or something. Like they were super close. I'm like, hey, Tommy about to give her a kiss before he leave. You know, the last time they kissed, he was laid out on the car because it was because of the, the that uh, new drug they was moving. She had that on her lips. But he put that together well. And then... He went and knocked off one of her dudes. So I'm sure she going to hear about that. Have to get some more people to come protect her. She going to have to tell Walter, uh, Vic, all of that, you know. And Vic is on a terror too. Like how he playing it is wild. First off, he uh, like get a drop on a dude that was supposed to have the pills or whatever. Then... He knocks the other dude off when he comes to the house to talk to Walter. Like, Vic is really out to get Walter. Like, he really out to crash. The whole organization, the whole family name, which is crazy when you think about it. Because you're like, dang, he don't want to, like, have a legacy with him running everything. He's just going to crash. But another thing he is noticing as he dealing with people, how racist they are, boy. Vic don't like that either. <laughs> Vic do not like that. So he getting closer and closer to uh, like everybody in the dealings with Walter. And behind the scenes, he manipulating everything. So he really is trying to get his get back. But speaking of get back, Kate was hilarious this episode. Now for people that's new to the channel kate is like similar to my situation tommy and kate situation that's similar to my situation what parents don't get is as long as nothing crazy happened when you was a kid no sa stuff you know what i'm saying or your spirit just ain't got you know your spirit wasn't broken when you was a kid you get older you starting to become successful you okay you know what I'm saying? You remember stuff that happened, like how Tommy did, right? He started running through a list of stuff. And then when she got to JP, it was like, yo, I left him because he's black. I'm like, dang, Kate. <laughs> Kate, wow. But, yo, once you get older, as a, as a man, right, as a male, when we get older, we don't just hold that forever unless something, you know, like I said, something real, real bad happened. But if it was just some you know, hard times and some stuff, drugs and stuff. We can understand it when we get older. So we don't just hold that against the parents, you know. So Kate got to understand, they'll forgive her. You know, she is mama, all right? They'll forgive her. And if it was dad, they'll forgive him too. You know, the 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 boys will, you know, you understand? But yeah, that, that whole part was hilarious, because every time she went to give her speeches, she'd just be like, I'm sorry. I'm like, Kate, <laughs> you ain't going to get no explanation or nothing. And with JV, JP, 
the crazy thing is he did the same to his son and they tried to sneak something in at the end the little agenda stuff in i said oh my god really they gonna do it like that you know they gonna they gonna try to sneak it in but it's all good then d mac he grabs the gun which i knew that was gonna happen as soon as uh jp put it in the dresser i said he gonna go get that gun you know and that's gonna lead us to the next episode the preview and the prediction just based off the trailer we didn't see so make sure you look out that i'm gonna do some more side videos on this episode man it's mac the guru remember if you're still here and you're not subscribed subscribe to the channel check out the other content we got a uh, nas ilmatic the reaction to that whole album coming soon. Got a bunch of stuff up, though. And as always, man, y'all be easy. Be safe. Peace.